As dawn rises on another perfect day, the ocean is teeming with activity. An integral part of this life are the many and diverse animals known as crustaceans. The health and bounty of our reefs are reflected in the variety and abundance of crustaceans in the waters off the east coast of South Africa. Crustaceans are excellent indicators of the health of coral reefs and it is no surprise that Sudwana Bay supports a thriving and diverse population. Let me introduce you to some of the crustaceans that call Sudwana Bay home. The first character in this unfolding drama is the Brunner's Cleaning Partner Shrimp. This shrimp is almost totally transparent with red and white markings on the legs and body. It is encountered in caves and holes where it seems to float and dance along the ground and in the midwater. It's an important member of the cleaner shrimp group. A rocking dance is used by the cleaner shrimp to advertise cleaning services. Shrimps rock dance when approaching potential client fish and do so more when they are hungry. When given a choice, the clients prefer hungry rocking shrimp. There are five pairs of appendages on the underside of the shrimp which are shaped like paddles and are used for swimming forward. They are also used for brooding eggs in the female. In this shot, the female can be seen aerating and oxygenating her eggs by gentle undulation of her swimming appendages. The long arm shrimp, or Periclaminus longicarpus, is another unusual member of the cleaner shrimp group. Little seems to be known about them. They are see-through shrimps with long arms and distinctive white banded eyes. They are seen in groups of up to 15 of both sexes in association with anemones or corals. They are often seen feeding off the mucus of their hosts. If alarmed, they will abandon their hosts and hide in rocky crevices and holes. In contrast to the long-armed shrimp is the short-armed shrimp or Periclaminus brevicarpalis, also known as the eggshell shrimp. It is largely transparent with white spots on the head and body and a black and orange edging on the tail. It is commonly seen in a symbiotic relationship with anemones or corals. The male is larger than the female and they are often found in pairs in the same anemone. In Sodwana Bay, the carpet anemone is the preferred host. As well as eating debris caught in the anemone, eggshell shrimp are also observed clipping and eating anemone tentacles. In normal circumstances this does not appear to damage the anemone, but in low food situations the shrimp may become parasitic rather than symbiotic with the anemone. Shrimp in captivity may clip all the anemone's tentacles. Next, let's visit the goby partner shrimp. The mutualistic relationship between partner gobies and pistol shrimps that live together in the same burrow is well recognised. The shrimp has poor eyesight. It builds and maintains the burrow while the sharp-eyed goby keeps watch at the entrance. The shrimp spends much of the daylight hours bulldozing sand and rubble. When it emerges, it rests its antenna on the back of the goby. If the goby detects danger, its body quivers alerting the shrimp. The goby defends the burrow and is seen here attacking a piece of weed. If the danger escalates, the goby darts back into the burrow and may even pull in debris to block the entrance. Another anemone resident is the porcelain crab. This delicate little crab has a mutual symbiotic relationship with the sea anemone. Like the clownfish, the porcelain crab coats itself in the mucus of the anemone, rendering it immune to the stinging tentacles. In return for keeping the anemone clean, the crab is sheltered and protected. Porcelain crabs combine suspension feeding with scavenging. The third or outermost pair of mouth parts is fan-like and bristled and can be deployed in the current. They collect particulate food with each pass. As seen here, edible material is scraped off by the second pair of mouth parts, also covered in short bristles, and passed inward to the mouth. The large front claws are used for defence and not for feeding. And finally, we meet one of the more unusual looking crustaceans, the orangutan crab. This crab belongs to the family of spider or decorator crabs. It may stick debris and particles onto its body for further camouflage. It is often seen in association with coral or anemones. Here it's easier to spot as it stands out from the whitish host. In appearance, it's a furry little crab. Like its namesake, its body is covered in a thick, rusty red hair, and this appearance, as well as the long front legs, enhance the similarity to the shaggy red ape. On the end of the long front legs are tiny pincers which they use to groom for food as well as for defence. Orangutan crabs feed on all manner of plankton which gets caught up in their hair. This little guy looks like he's giving himself a haircut. I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to just a few of the crustaceans of Sudwana Bay. Crustaceans play an important role as scavengers, coral gardeners and food source. They show a high level of symbiotic adaptation and are excellent indicators of the health of our coral reefs. We can learn from them important lessons in living in harmony with our environment.